Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 66 of Voice Lessons to the World. Our question for this week comes from Charlotte H. in Honolulu, Hawaii, and Charlotte writes, Dear Justin, the L and the R are particularly difficult to sing, especially in a song. Why are they so evil? Well, Charlotte, I'm very sorry to hear of your distress. But all we know are the facts, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is the city. I'm Sergeant Joe Stoney of the NYVC PD. I solve vocal crimes. The accused, L. Last seen with his accomplice, R. These are our most wanted vocal criminals. Real rotten apples, real bad eggs. Rumor has it they're even in cahoots with the soft palate. The L, accused of conspiracy, conspiring with the jaw for excessive tension in the neighborhood of the Milo Hyoid, disturbing the peace of innocent singers just trying to sing a song that contains L's, grand larceny of nasal resonance, robbing singers of mask and head resonance from already difficult musical phrases, disorderly conduct, violating the God-given rights and freedom of the larynx by constantly holding him back with physical force, resisting arrest, a resting position that's relaxed and tall like the NG and not fleeing into the dark shadows of the laryngo pharynx. These are the facts, ma'am. And I, for one, would like to see the L in a cell. But we're gonna need a darn good vocal tip. Uh, okay, so I know what you guys are going to say. Justin, do you remember what it was like before you went crazy? And no, no, I don't. But that's not the point. The point is we've got to open a criminal investigation against L because it's causing too much grief for singers all over the world. So let's talk about it. There's two kinds of L's really. There's the front L as in the word unlawful. Right? That's a front L. Unlawful. But then there's another kind of L, the back L, which is as in the word evil. Evil. Right? That's a back L. So the front L, unlawful. And the back L, evil. Now, let's talk about the crimes that L has committed against singers. That front L first. Now, this L here, first of all, can often cause a lot of jaw tension. We talked about the marriage of jaw and tongue. That l, l sound tends to lock the jaw when really we can just do unlawful, l, l. I don't need to do l, but the L causes a jaw tension. Now the next thing is L, the front L, causes a lack of nasal resonance off, often, right? L, l. First we want to find it with an N sound. N, N, and then make that N into an L. N, 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 N. And then we have that nice unlawful, and I have that buzz in my sound, that nasal resonance. So it's the jaw and the nasal resonance. Now that's the front L. What about the back L, that evil? Oh, that's even worse. That's got a lot of tongue retraction, and we know all about tongue retraction. That's going to cause the larynx to have a backwards pressure on it, right, so that it can't be free. So evil causes that backwards tongue. It also will prevent nasal resonance as well because we're not getting some of that high, free tongue that we want and the soft palate slightly down so that we get that nasal resonance. So that fix would be as in the pronunciation evil. See my tongue? Vol. I don't have to go evil, all, evil. That sounds a little strange to speak but we're really gonna see how that applies more directly in a song. So the song we're gonna work on today is the classic jazz song, I'll Be Seeing You. And you're gonna see in this song, I'll Be Seeing You, that there's all kinds of L's, front L's and especially back L's, the ol sound that could make this song quite difficult. So this is the classic jazz song, I'll Be Seeing You. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar Places that this heart of mine embraces all day through in the 
that small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, the wishing well. Now you hear all of those old sounds all the way through. And so if I exaggerate the problem, we get something like this. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through. In that small cafe. And you get the idea. So that ol gives me a lot of tongue retraction, especially those back L's. In that small ca that small cafe, I don't have to do small. I can do small cafe and keep my tongue up and the sound up in the nasal resonance if I don't do that ol. So no, that's the back L, but there's a few front L's in the song too. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places. Familiar. I could do l or l and get that buzzy L. Familiar places. L and I get l instead of l. Familiar places. And then it's in the right spot. So you guys can really see the application of those L sounds to a song. But next we're going to put L in a cell by creating a vocal exercise. It's going to be N-L-E-H-N-N-L-E-N. Now I know that's a little bit of a tongue twister, N-L-E-N, but we're going to need it if the vocal justice system is going to have its way with L and bring it out of the darkness and into the light exposed. So N-L-E-N, we're going to have guys down here. Len, 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 len. And ladies up here. Len, 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 len. And here we go together. Len, 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 len. Nice. That's it. Awesome job. So thank you for helping put L and its cell. And Charlotte, I'm so uh, sorry to hear of all the distress a few bad eggs have caused you with your singing, but I'm glad that we could put L in a cell. And so let's take a look. L.
Hell, we've got you right where we want you. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh. Mm-hmm. Anything else you'd like to add, L? Mm-hmm. Sad. Any last words, L? Book him, boys. Ooh, 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 ooh.